Hi there, once again welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you some top tricks and tips in Microsoft Word. So I'm going to show you some techniques that will at least reduce the time you spend using Microsoft Word and doing your editing. So the first one I'm going to talk about is how to generate random text within Microsoft Word. So you can use the round and let's say I want to generate 10 paragraphs so I want to generate 10 paragraphs just put 10 comma and the number of lines or a number of lines you want to get per paragraph you just type in over there so this is going to basically give me 10 paragraphs with four lines per paragraph so if I hit enter on my keyboard automatically you can see what is happening so every line is going to be what it's going to be four the paragraph so I have 10 paragraphs and every line is going to be what give me what every line is going to be four I'm going to have four lines and I'm going to have 10 paragraphs in all so it depends on the number of paragraphs you want and the number of ways you have to want per line let's say I want let's say six ways per line I can just set it up this way so when I hit enter it's going to give me six ways per, per line so you can see every paragraph I'm going to get six lines per every paragraph so these are random numbers that have been generated random text per see these are random text that have been generated for me and see if I want more than 10 paragraphs I can easily do that if I want 15 paragraphs maybe I want three per paragraph I can just do it this way and when I enter I should be getting that so you can see these are ways that have been generated for me randomly okay we can also let me just undo this and show you another technique we can decide to leave this out and we can say we want a lorem lorem text lorem like this and we can also use that same process to generate lorem text these are dummy text you can use to do your demonstration and let's say in weight okay so if i say i want five the same thing we want to generate some random text you can use generate lorem i use the word lorem and also maybe want five paragraphs you can see i can easily easily generate my five paragraph in that order okay so the next thing i'm going to talk about is is how to select a portion of your document so i'm going to use the run keyword again let's say i have 15 paragraphs with five words per line this way and notice if i want to select a document I want to just select maybe few three of just a few lines just part of it in the middle I'm not be I wouldn't be able to select that okay if I want to select just let's say from you you want to add and then to make your document maybe I just want to select a portion like this I will not be able to do that but when I hold down alt I can select maybe a portion of your document as you can see I can select a portion like that and Maybe I want to bold in it, I can do that. But without pressing Alt, you will not be able to select that portion. You see, it will select the complete line from beginning to the end. But when you press Alt, you should be able to select portion of your document, and then you can at least make some few changes to it. So, so this is another amazing technique that you can easily use to select portion of any document you want. Okay, so I'm going to undo this and. I'm going to show you another amazing technique. Most of us prefer to use short hands whilst we are typing. So I'm going to use, I'm going to show you how to set the auto correct. Okay. So you can also set the auto correct, which will help you to, anytime you type in something, it to do the auto correction for you. So to do that, let's go to file and then go to option. And then we're going to go to proofing. I'm going to proof, we'll click on what? auto correct option we're going to set our own value let's say i type ms e i want this to be auto corrected to what microsoft microsoft Word. okay so i want it to be corrected to what microsoft excel i'll add this i'll add this and go to okay so look at what is going to happen type in immediately i type in s and i just hit the space bar it's automatically going to do the auto correction for me it's going to correct that it's going to correct that and change it to microsoft excel i'll go back and then and do a few of that and let's see how this can assist us anytime we are typing something 
we can set this and it will make our typing very easy okay i think i made some few of that but let's say you prefer to say ms for microsoft word okay so let's say microsoft word so i'm going to add this and i would add maybe tm for timothy i've already added that so we may have things that we want to do let's say maybe i want to just make s sch maybe for school i want something like this i will add this so basically whatever you want to add just come to the autocorrect side come to option and set it up and that is going to assist you a lot so now everything you are typing and remember it's type tm which is automatically to be corrected to timothy i've set that at my autocorrect option i also made sw for weight microsoft weight and i've set that up and it's actually going to do the auto correction for me okay so this is how to set up the auto correct remember you need to go to file option and go to proofing and then click on auto so whatever you want to set as auto correct just put it over here and then the full menu of that should be at the other side and it's actually going to work for you okay so that's how to do the auto correction and i'm actually going to how to do remove formatting so let's say i've just click on this i'm bolding this and i've underlined this if i want to remove this format i can easily select everything when i press ctrl and then the with the space bar on my keyboard automatically it's going to clear that formatting for me pressing ctrl and then the space bar will clear the formatting let me actually generate a few just using the round by now you know how to do the round let's say i want just four and then two uh where's the line and then this is what i have so half my four paragraphs with two the same pair line okay so what i'm going to do is that let me say i've selected a portion of this document underline italic and then i do some few this and i want to just remove this format i can just select this control plus my space bar and then automatically this will be removed okay so basically this is how to use that particular command control plus space okay. so basically we've seen some few command that will help us to speed up whatever we do but you can also change the look of your entire team maybe you prefer to have a dark team to work with you can do that by going to file going towards option and whilst you're at option you notice that we have the general under general we have office team so we have colorful now you can set it to gray so if i click on okay you see it has changed my entire team but we can also do that added accounts option when you click on account you can see that and then you can change it and see how this is going to do this is a preview this is a dark interface you can also go to account and you select the one that you prefer you have the white and this is how the white is going to look like so I'm going to leave my own as the default one, which is the colorful. I'm going to leave it over here. So these are some basic techniques you can use in Microsoft Word, and it's going to help you a lot. Remember to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime we upload a new content.